Hey Capricorn Seeker. Cappy, I love saying that. You are the yang to my yin. I am a feminine earth fixed energy, Taurus. You are a masculine cardinal earth energy, Capricorn. I feel at home around you. I feel belong. I feel that things make sense. We're all just a part of nature. We're all elements, right? We all have our alchemy. So how are you doing, Capricorn? I feel like we haven't spoken in a while, which is weird because same goes to all signs. I mean, I've spoken to all of you guys about a month ago. And I was wondering which zodiac should I do next. I started with the Earth today. I did Virgo. I was like, should I do Taurus, Capricorn? I was like, I feel like I want to talk to Capricorn. So hi. Welcome to the Existential Shift. Love, it. Love having you here. Thank you for your subscriptions, likes, comments. I read everything. If you haven't subscribed yet and you'll find yourself resonating and into my channel um, and my messages, please feel free to press the subscribe button. It will be a wonderful way to support me and to know of more videos. So, let's get to your October reading, right? Let's get to, the, get to the point. Let's be practical, Capricorn. In honors of October, I'm doing my first uh, live chat uh, Q&A, October 10th. Uh, you'll get to ask me questions, uh, talk to me. Yay, super excited. Um, and I have special prices for my private readings in honors of that. It's the 10th month of the year. It's the 10th month of the existential shift. A lot of 10. I might be in the 10,000 subscribers. I don't know. I'm closing on it, but we'll see. Um, so I feel like it's worth acknowledging. Um, so yeah. Yeah. All the information is below, by the way, in case you're curious. Everything is in the magical information box. Okay. Londa Taro. My Capricorn, Seekers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Dominant, Cross Watchers for October. Just a bit more green, you like green. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Slow, particular, somewhat heavy energy. That I'm sensing right now. Not to say that it will enter the entire month, but whomever group of you Capricorns that I'm tapping into right now, um, a heavy heart. Some of you are really having a heavy heart about something, something that you care about, but you're feeling. I don't know. Let's 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 see. I can't I can't yet put it into words, but I feel like something is sitting on my chest and the only way to let something out is to let it out. Aka if there's something you want to say, talk about say it, talk about it, don't keep it in because it's starting you're now starting to feel the burden and when a Capricorn feels the burden it means it's heavy because you have a very strong endurance you know like you you can handle the world on your shoulders um and you can you know go through a lot for a long time your patience your endurance your stamina are endless so sometimes you don't even know that you're in pain so if you're now feeling it it means that it's been around for a long time maybe maybe whether you've been aware of it or not um so if you're acknowledging it now, then you have to let it out. Don't let it... Capricorn, everything we keep in... Energy is energy. It always wants to be in movement and in flow, right? Whatever you hold inside and let um, fester, it will find its way to express itself, to come out. If not with your words and your actions, and God forbid, in a physical aspect, you might... You, you know, sometimes we can either feel sick or, you know, like the body will start talking uh, if we don't talk. Um, sometimes uh, it feels like we're, um, you know, 
self-sabotage, like things starting to, to mess up in our life. We don't even know why. It's because the universe is trying to, your, your higher self, it's not even the universe, it's yourself trying to be like, Cappy, what are you doing to me? I'm your soul. Express me. Sorry, sorry was that weird? Okay. Let's, let's let the card also cards also speak, though. This sensation is very strong. Um, don't be sad. If you're sad, if you're watching me and you're sad, oh, please don't be sad. Capricorn. October. And here you are. You are very present. You are aware of how you're feeling. You know. You're still in your mechanism trying to control it, trying possibly to suppress it, to work through it, to work around it, anything that has to do with work. Maybe focus on your career instead of, you see him, how he's holding, uh, he has the pentacle on him, but he's holding his heart and his stomach is like holding in your, his um, emotion and his uh, sensations and like focus on the practical, on the, um, on the 3D, on the tangible, on the work, like, he holds the pentacle, but he also holds his heart inside. Doesn't express his emotions. Yeah, you, this is very strong in the reading. Um, it's almost like someone is looking at you and they really want to say something and they're really feeling something, but they're not talking. And if this is you, Capricorn, it's okay. Let it out. Um, if you're, if you're a um, What's the word? An evolved Capricorn. You have people around you that want to help out. Um, if you're the Capricorn that loses himself to always be there for others and kind of takes everyone's problems on their shoulders, um, then probably people around you mostly just want you to listen to their stuff. And you need to find someone who will be willing to listen to your stuff, you know? You're worthy of it. You're a hard worker and you care. People think Capricorns are like really too tough or something like that. That's a really bad stigma. Like, yeah, you're tough, you're strong, but you're you're you have you have a heart of a lion, but like a very um, magical, emotional lion. Like you feel the life around you. You care. You just can. It's just that you don't whine about it and you don't express it too much and give other people room to express themselves and, and you do what you need to do you know six of wands okay so moving on um there's also success practical success you're on top of things when it comes to either your work your career your achievements um either a project or your job something that you've been working on that you're finally you're reaching uh, fruition and you feel like uh, you're on top of things or you maybe have the need to be on top of things in order and you avoid how you feel and uh, and expressing yourself emotionally because you feel like oh if i'll just be on top of things but i'll just be in control i won't lose myself five of cups and fell in the reverse and she's looking at him like okay someone is missing you or you are missing someone um five of cups and it's upright it's like it's kind of an emotional agony it's being in a situation where you're looking at the glass half empty and you're ignoring what you do have uh you're thinking about what is distance what you lost what you're missing um it's 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 kind of a woo me type of emotional state of mind um in the reverse it's either stepping out of it or really drowning into it and like someone is it's like they're watching this character here be like hey where are you you know and it's I don't know why I feel such sadness. I, I don't want to go to the extent of grief, okay? But it's like this deep sadness. And you guys, when you feel sad, you really feel sad. And you keep it in. And you seclude yourself. Not all of you. Um, okay, too many cards fell. Also, there's a sense of like some of you are really working hard and 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 maintaining the um, 
posture of someone that is on top of things and in control and everything is okay and fun and dandy and energetic and successful and yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but you're feeling like this inside. Um, some of you are thinking about someone who is far away because there's also the distance element here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's keep talking, Capricorn. Let's see what's oh, it's hot in. Until it gets noisy again outside and I'll <laughs> close it again. Okay. Capricorn, let's see next. We have King of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and this one. Okay. Oof. Four of Swords and the Justice. Some of you are doing some heavy thinking, some heavy, heavy, heavy thinking uh, because there's some sort of a decision uh, you need to make or to reach um, and you're taking your time with it to think, to ponder. Um, King of Pentacles is Capricorn, see it's January um, this might be something that has been going on for a good few months. Or at least four, five, six months, because I have four, five, and six here. Um, like you really want your intellect to take over and to just make logical, strong decisions, and you want to just not feel the emotional baggage that you're feeling right now. But I don't know if it's. I'm not sure that's what will help. Uh, there has to be some sort of emotional expression here. You just you just want to be very accurate. You want to make sure that once you talk, it's accurate and it's after making an accurate decision that you, you don't want to go back from and that you know what you're about to say, you know what you want to do. Um, so that's why you're taking your time with it. Um, some of you are taking a break for something in order to reassess uh, and figure out what it is that you want. Maybe this is the distance thing. Maybe some of you are taking a break from someone in your life or from something in your life because you want to figure out what's the next step, what is the right thing to do. So there's, there's the distance. Maybe that's where the sadness comes from. I don't know. Maybe someone is sad because you decided to take a leaf, you know, of absence and kind of... Um, some of you are just waiting a decision on something and in the meantime you're, you 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 range from feeling like oh I'm on top of the world of course I got this of, of course I'm gonna win this of course I'm gonna succeed in this and then you go to the complete despair of oh no what if this happens what if that happens like you, you imagine everything that can go wrong you know imagine it goes wrong um, so you're going a little bit back and forth and you're like oh I can't go keep the seesaw energy so I just Okay, I'm just going to distance myself. I'm just going to not feel anything uh, and let, you know, karma decide or let pure logic decide and see how things kind of unveil themselves. Bottom of the deck, nine of cups. Let's see if it really wants to come out. Okay, let's keep going for Capricorn for October. The moon, yeah, a lot of confusion, a lot of inner turmoil. Some of you really, literally, don't really know how they're feeling. Like they, like you know, you feel a lot. You're just not really sure how to name it. Um, and you're going back and forth from, you know, you just you focus on your work, you're focused on what is tangible and what you know. Um, to have a grasp in reality, but you keep being lured back into the realm of the moon, of the subconscious. And I feel a lot of it has to do with um, now Venus is about to go into retrograde in Scorpio on October 5th. Um, and even though you're an Earth sign and allegedly not a Scorpio and not Venus uh, ruled by, it, it doesn't matter. For those of you who have, who have a, a big inner emotional realm which all of you have of course um you just hold it in because you're so vast um it's now like really stirring and wants to speak 
you can't keep freezing it or holding it in. You have to have to allow it to express itself. You have to be honest with yourself, Capricorn. It's time to be honest with yourself and not lie to yourself for convenience or it's just... The moon is like it's our in most inner um, emotions and fantasies and dreams and 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 self. Okay, your subconscious, your subconscious is 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 um, a culmination of all your past self sense of selves. Okay, all your past souls and DNAs and, and inner expression and emotions and thoughts. And it's like it's there. It's like the DNA. All your past... Oh, the soul's DNA is right here in the back of your brain. Um, there's a lot going on there. So you need to give it room now. It wants to speak. It wants to speak. It's like... All the characters here have their mouth closed, but some of them have their hand on their heart or like like someone really wants to talk, but they don't. It's inevitable, Capricorn. There we go. Ooh, King of Cups. Okay, so some of you wants to make, want to make uh, an emotional offer. Okay, uh, this can go from I care about you, I have feelings for you, to I want to apologize for something, to let's just have a conversation, to just talk honestly. And tr like the Knight of Cups comes with an open heart, um, open communication, very honest, very, um, very truthful, very from the heart. And that's good. So either you're stepping out of the situation of not expressing yourself and you're finally letting it out, but in a very benevolent way, I like it, it's a controlled, beautiful, sweet way, or someone is helping you, coming towards you and being like, and tries to like, um, talk you through it, you know, like a good friend or a partner, or this can be very much be a romantic um, interest. Knight of Cups is very romantic. This is a romantic offer. This is uh, courting. This wants to be out. Ace of Cups. Yay. Okay, so here's the thing, Capricorn. Once you express your heart, it's going to be beautiful. Whatever it is that is in there, it's beautiful. So why are you closing it? It's so inspiring and sweet and loving. Or maybe it's someone in your life that does that with you and you're like, you can't wait for them to just open up. And like, it's th th this is opening up for sure. And it's like once the um, <laughs> once the tab is open, it's like it, it will keep flowing. It will keep running. It's like once you open it, you can't close it. Not in a bad way. It's not going to drown you. This is this is very um, benevolent, very um, healing, very sweet energy. Strong emotional expression. Very 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 pretty. Yay. Let's see this. Well, who, who is this Knight of Cups and Ace of Cups? What are we talking? Oh, okay. <laughs> A few cards fell down. I'm taking them all because I love it. Ace of Pentacles. So we already have another Ace on the table. Beautiful counterpart for the Ace of Cups. Earth with water. Uh, we have another very strong Earth energy. Uh, the Hierophant can be a Taurus or just being the Hierophant. A, a coach, a guide, a spiritual mentor someone very wise very structured uh that brings you know a sense of security into your life especially next to the ace of pentacles and then we have the two of wands wow the first row is so intense and heavy and then the second row once something is opened up is opened up then it's like pff, so many blessings new energy that is very very loving very safe very wise, very honorable, very, um, this is also learning something new because this is the card of studying. Um, this is the card of, of, of teaching. So this could be either you want to learn something new or teach something or, um, expand your horizons when it comes to certain knowledge you have. Maybe you want to learn something new or take a new, this could be that you're just taking a new career direction or a new emotional direction, or even both, you know, maybe you're just 
Let's look at this. Okay, I'm going to show you. And I already have a nice um, direction for the extended because in case you're new to my channel, in the extended I take the numerological aspect of the cards and the element aspect of the cards and I take new narratives out of the same cards that I choose to use for the extended. The extended. Okay, I have two aces, right? Um, and I'm going to maybe I'll address the four, five, six because of the chronological aspect, but I'll definitely take all the majors, right? Um, and then we see a new narrative. I also do a complete new shuffle with a Celtic cross, but we'll get there. Anyway, so this is new beginnings, new opportunities, especially with the two of wands, wanting to know something, wanting, wanting to take a new direction, to expand with your knowledge most likely, um, or take an existing knowledge because this the Hierophant is very knowledgeable. So maybe you wanna take your knowledge and use it in a new way, okay? Have a new start, this could be uh, career oriented maybe you want to start a new business with your existing knowledge you know um, you have this new inspiration like you really want to have a new flow a new energy coming into your life you're like you're done with all this like you're not you're this is a place where someone is really not feeling right or if things just don't feel right things don't sit right uh, you have a, a heavy heart uh, you feel your sense of truth and honor is being um, challenged. Um, you don't know if you should stay, you should go, if this is the right thing for you. Um, this brings up a lot of mixed emotions and, you know, a lot of heavy heart. And then once you make a decision to really listen to your heart and start anew with something that you really feel comfortable with and really trust, then it will open up a, a whole new horizon for you. And this probably has happened for a reason in order to push you into this direction. What is this new direction? What is this two of wands and the Hierophant, the Ace of Pentacles? Where is Capricorn going with this? And or what is the advice? Three of wands, great, okay. <laughs> From two of wands to three of wands. Okay, guys, so <laughs> whatever new direction it is that you're, new old direction, something that you have knowledge with, that you want to uh, take a, a new route with, it's really going to uh, flow. Okay, from two of wands naturally to the three of wands. It's something that you know a lot about, that people are aware that you know a lot about, that they trust you with it. Um, you know, kind of build it and they will come. Like they will naturally follow you. Um, you're, you're a natural leader in this, whatever this is. And I'm highly encouraging this. Really, really encouraging this. Listen, Venus retrograding Scorpio, it teaches us, it shows us exactly who we are, what we want, what we are willing to do, what we're not willing to do, what we're, what our boundaries are, you know, what... You know, it really reminds us our truth and our essence, and it doesn't let us escape. Like, it really teaches us about ourselves. And this is, you're learning something great about yourself. You And, and, and I feel like you might be going about it, about this route. Route, whatever, route, route. <laughs> Hmm. Anything else for Capricorn for October? Six of Swords. Okay. So we have another six. So we're going to use these two also in the extended. Hmm. Okay, some of you, whatever this new thing is, new old thing is, it will require uh, movement uh, or changing location um, or connecting to something or someone from a distance or having them connect with you. Okay, some of you are taking a vacation or taking a break. This could be, you know, um, 
ask them to take a break from your work in order to reassess and know what exactly you want to do so you don't want to quit yet you need the time for yourself to figure things out and so some of you are maybe using like an excuse like a sick day you know taking sick days just to kind of have time to build whatever it is that you want to build and see where it leads to so you kind of laying down the foundations and then when you feel like it's right and ripening and there's a clear direction then you're gonna okay now i quit you know now i leave this could also be in a relationship maybe you're not certain maybe there's someone else you have in mind so you might be t asking to take a break from being with someone in order for you to um you know figure out how you feel without them uh, check new options etc but i need more clarification for the six of swords in relation to capital okay <laughs> Ooh, queen of wands eight of pentacles three of pentacles so yes work is right around the corner but but it's not this type of work it's creative work. It's this very, very creative energy. Hard working energy. There's a need to invest in something and put in a lot of effort in order to make something grow. But whatever it is, it feels um, free, independent, creative, uh, very much of your self expression, um, very fiery, very uh, artistic, very. You know, it, it, it works better with you. And it's, of course, it's a good combination between fire and earth. It's creative, but also practical. I feel like you've been working on, like, having a vision of what it is that you want to do, how you want to do it. And finally, when things made sense and started to flow, now, okay, okay, you're like, okay, now I got this. Now I know what I want to do. I have three, two threes here now. More good gooey stuff for the extended. <laughs> Two eights. Yeah, something very creative that has to do either with art or with children or to be um, uh, like an after, after school at school activity is some sort of a hobby that you want to make into a profession. Um, there's a lot. There's teaching involved with groups. A lot of creative a lot of creativity and some of you feel like you need to learn a little bit more about it but I feel like you already have a lot of knowledge in this field so maybe you just need a little 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 adjustments right um, yeah if this is relationship talk um, then you might be moving from one individual that is just not feeling right anymore to a different individual that feels more lively and passionate and brings more life into you hmm. okay good this is a good read capricorn okay let's i'm going to show you after i show you the extended i'm going to show you the table of our extended of the first part of the extended uh, we will finish up this reading with messages from the Akashic Tarot, aka the Akashic Records, um, or Akashic Library. Um, they are majestic and deep and mind-blowing. Like, I love them, and they're beautiful, so I'm looking forward to that. I really enjoy working with them. And Okay, so what we have here, two aces. Let's have the major kind of here. A sec. I'm not sure it's relevant, but we'll see. Four, five, two sixes, two threes. Okay, so like this and this and this. Yeah, okay. Because it needs to be clear. So two sixes, two aces here, two threes here, one, one, three, three, six, six, 11, 33, 66. Master numbers. Five, eight, 18, the higher fan, justice and the moon. 
Okay, this can bring a completely new narrative. I will talk to you about the new narrative for, from the cards, and I will talk to you about the numerological aspect, and then we will we will cl clear this table. I'll do a new shuffle, uh, mix the cards again, and have a Celtic cross. Um, those of you who resonated with this reading can bring a completely different narrative. Those of you who didn't, it's an opportunity to get your own narrative. The extended readings bring a lot of different narratives. It's really kind of cool. And then I finish up with a message from the runes, from the Celtic runes. So stay tuned to that link in the information box. You can also find a link in the information box below. Um, of course, there's my email and information about my specials for private readings for this month. And there's the link for the extended, obviously, but there's also a link to Tarot Masterclass. So if you want to learn Tarot, check it out. It's also on Vimeo. Um, what else? Okay, guys, I super recommend to watch your other placements to have a wider picture, like in your natal chart, your sun, moon, rising, Venus. Um, and even more so to go back to your past month's reading, like September readings whether from in this general reading, YouTube zone, or on a Vimeo, sorry that I keep fixing it, I'm just, or on YouTube, the extended ones, because that's how we grow and learn, by making the connections. We already went through the energies of September, and then re-watching now the advice and the energies that were um, envisioned for this month really helps connect the dots and grow from it. So my, my personal recommendation, take it or leave it. Okay. Capricorn. Message from the Akashic Records for my copy for the month of October. Please, Spirit, please, cards, Akashic Library, give my Capricorn Seeker an accurate, clear message. There it is. Okay, it's an important one. Caught in the Ruins. Number 16. I'll let you take a look. So, story time, let's read. This is an important message. I remember what it says, but I want to read it to you so it will be more accurate. Um, caught in the ruins. In the ruins of a med medieval castle, there is an old prison. The bars are still intact but there is no roof over the room and vines grow over the stones. A man and woman are inside, seated on old stools. A beautiful green forest grows to the left while the castle ruins extend to the right. This card shows a dark or difficult situation that seems to have you trapped. It could be a hurtful, empty relationship, an unhappy or still solidifying job, a behavioral or actual addiction, or even a negative sabotaging belief system. It has, it has held you captive for some time and may have even begun in some past life. But there is a way out, as there always has been. It just takes some effort and determination on your part. Even if these limitations, the, it, sorry, even if these limiting situations and actions are strong, they are self-imposed. The courage and strength required to change lie within you. You must change each uh, faulty belief and every sabotaging vo uh, choice as they happen. If you do nothing, you'll perpetuate your attachment to this dark situation. Like the crumbling castle, negative choices could stand for a long time to come. Don't let the ruins of your past ruin your future. You have the power to climb out now. You have the power to climb out now. Okay, guys, I will see you in a second in the extended reading. Super excited about that. Regardless, I will see you in November. Maybe I'll dress up because it's going to be Halloween. I'll see y'all. Oh, and uh, uh, October 10th, Q&A. Um, love you guys very much. If you haven't subscribed yet, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. press and you're there. Love you guys.